Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of calculating percent change. Now remember, we can calculate percent change by taking the new value and subtracting the original value. That gives us the amount of change, the amount of increase or decrease. We then divide that result by the original value. Always divide by the original value because we are finding the percent change from that original value. That's going to give us a decimal. We then multiply the decimal by 100 to convert it to a percent. Let's jump into our example where we have the selling price of a house was lowered from $310,000 to $295,000. What was the percent change in price? Round to the nearest percent. So let's set this up. We have percent change equals, and now we need the new value minus the original value. Well, the new value is 295,000. That's the price of the house now. So 295,000 minus, we need the original value now. So what was the price of the house to start with? Well, 310,000. So minus 310,000. And we divide that by the original value, which again, is 310,000, and then we multiply by 100. Now let's work through this. So let's subtract. We have 295,000 minus 310,000. That gives us negative 15,000. That's the amount of change. And since it's negative, that tells us we had a decrease. The house decreased in value by $15,000. And we need to divide that by the original value and then multiply by 100. So now we divide. We have negative 15,000 divided by 310,000. That gives us negative 0.04 eight, three, and that decimal continues on. It actually ends up repeating. So let's stop there. And we need to multiply that decimal by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. So let's multiply by 100 now by moving the decimal once, twice to the right and we get negative 4.83, and that decimal continues on. So let's round this to the nearest percent, which is rounding to the ones place. We have a four in the ones place with an eight to the right in the tenths. This rounds to negative 5%. So this is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we rounded negative 5%. And that negative tells us we had a decrease. So what was the percent change in price? Well, there was a 5% decrease. The price went down 5%. So there you have it. There's an example of how to calculate percent change. Check the description for more examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.